Hello fellow YouTubers, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Intel Solid State Drive 330 series. Later on it's going to be going into my rig so make sure to follow my videos there and you'll see how it looks like in the complete case. So first I'm going to be doing the look around around the box. Second I'm going to be doing an unboxing, I'll show you what's inside. Third. I'm gonna show you the some beauty shots, um, so just close-ups of the drive, and then we're gonna go to my rattling. Why did I buy this SSD drive? So if you want to fast forward the video, click on the link, and you'll go right to that chapter. So here we go. What's outside? Right, you can pause it there. So the usual Intel right link of what it is. This one is the 120 gig one. Some nonsense on the side. Super fast, silent and whatnot. Of course, that's why we buy them. No. This part is for the unboxing. So we're gonna see what's inside of the box. Factory seal. Make sure nobody opens it before an excited fellow like me gets it. Okay. No. So, as expected, your SSD drive. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. This is very nice. I used it on the last case, it looks quite cool. Speed D1 sticker. Desktop installation. Okay. Um, guide and watch. Data migration software. Very handy to transfer from your hard drive into SSD. Sweat free. That is why these drives are actually recommended over anything else because. It provides the software already with the drive. Some screws for mounting and your bracket for, I'm not going to actually take it out, for the three and a half inch mount, should your case not have the SSD support. SATA cable, power cable, should you have the old cable and want to have an adapter. One thing that is not included is your, what Intel sometimes includes in the desktop kit is the little neat cable which is USB 3.0 and it connects straight from USB 3.0 into the SSD. That was not included in this case. However, I do have one from last time, so happy days. Okay, sorry for the mess on the table guys, I'm actually in a hurry to do the unboxing because I'm absolutely starving, I haven't had my dinner yet. So there you go, that's your SSD. Now, make sure if you're buying for notebook, netbook or whatever, you get the right size. Because this one is quite thick, that's more for desktops, okay, might not fit laptop. One thing I don't like about these drives is this finish there, what the hell was Intel doing? But then again, who cares, it's going to be sitting in the case facing that way, so it's going to be fun. Okay, very light. Don't know what's rattling in there, but I'm not too worried because I know Intel quality and they're quite good for that. So there you go, I think that comes with a three years warranty. Uh, yep, yeah, that pretty much sums it. So if you don't like to know why did I buy it, you can stop the video here and please remember to comment, uh, rate and like the video and whatnot. And thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day. Right, why did I purchase this? 120 gig, 
420 euro at the time when I purchased it, really nice price. Intel, which I like, um, because they provide the data migration software, which is really handy. All the bits and bobs that you need. And three years warranty, okay. This drive is quite fast, according to Intel, um, this is budget version of the 520 series. So I'm excited to test it out because the last one I had was 80 gigabyte SSD 320 series. So we'll see if that's faster. And yeah guys, just wanted a nice solid performer with a good warranty. That's why I got this. Plus you get a lovely sticker there. Ta -da! Just joking guys. Although I quite like it because it's it's not you know your orangey flames or anything like that. So when you put it on the case, it's not really that shouting, oh look, you know, I'm flame on the case. And you get your screws and you get your mounting bracket for three and a half, which I won't be using because I have the SSD mount already in my case. So yeah guys. I'll see you in the video when I'm gonna be putting this thing into the case and I'll show you how it looks like in the Silverstone uh, Tamjin TJ08E case. So thanks for watching um, and don't forget to rate my video and if you like it you can subscribe to my channel as well so all the future videos will be posted on your YouTube wall. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.